All right, good morning everyone. So, this Astra. Here is the game plan. I want to backtrack to where the car first didn't start. So, the guy who worked on it last, I think he went down a really deep rabbit hole by trying to replace all the modules at once. <laughs> that never works. The problem, you know, all the modules don't go bad at once, so if you start swapping them in on new cars, you have to program them. And if it's not, if they're not, like, matched up, there's a security code, the VIN, that's it. The car is just going to be disabled. And then no matter how many more modules you swap in, it's going to get worse and worse. So, the car right now is in its original state. As it came in to the shop, I have the replacement PCM plugged in. The front fuse box, this one is not original. The original one's in the trunk. And the steering column control module, this is the one it came with into the shop, 2017 number. So we have three modules here that are not original to the car. And the original ones are all back here. So there's the original fuse box. Um, original radio, junkyard steering column control module, another new, new steering column control module, and the original one is right here, original to the car. Alright, so I popped in the original front fuse box. The only thing that was different here, he said he had to swap over a few fuses to fill in the blanks. So only four fuses, number 8, number 13, number 22 for the ECM, and number 28 for the TCM, which probably is redundant anyways. Okay, so with the, all the original modules plugged in, here's what we have so far. In the engine, we have that theft security code incorrect and incorrect environment ID. And for both of them, service info says to perform the reset ECU procedure using the scanner. Uh, for the CIM, the steering column control module, we have no transponder key, security code not programmed, and wrong transponder key. And f obviously for these two, we need to do the key programming if it goes. For this one, again, reset ECU. Instrument panel cluster, security code not programmed, no ID learned. Need to perform the reset ECU, ECU for both of those. So, okay, so with the launch, it seems that we can't program the key and we can't do the ECU reset for anything other than the CIM. So, the instrument panel cluster and the engine control module do not have that function. So, in that case, we need to go back to the Tech 2 win on the laptop, go through the pass through, and hopefully we can get in there with you know, using the OEM software, perform the ECU resets on those units, and program the key. So what I'm doing here now is downloading the Tech2Win software from the GM website so we can use our Bosch MasterTech VCI as the OEM scan tool for this Saturn Astra. And in the software, in the custom installation, we select Saturn Astra, the latest version, English and download. And you, as you can see here, here's the Tech 2 emulator. Again, I've never done this before on my own, and this is the perfect opportunity to learn. So, you know, figure might as well pay the, you know, 100 bucks for the emulator and SPS software for this vehicle and do everything here with my own tools. All right, here we go. It's up and running, the Tech 2 Win. So, we have the DTCs here, 1648, 1679. I apologize for the glare. This screen is terrible in the sunlight. How about there? And the uh, ambient air temp, okay. So, let's 
So let's go back and what can we do in terms of programming? Reset ECU. Okay, let's try that. Please wait. So this is something that no other scanner could do. This is the power of the OEM scanner. Enter security code 9401. Enter. Okay. Engine will not start after reset. Yes, it doesn't start anyways. Turn ignition off. Programming in progress. So I don't know if that security code is being programmed into the computer right now. And boom, turn ignition on. Ignition's on. Confirm. Reset completed successfully. Confirm. Okay. So, if we back out of here and go to trouble codes, let's see what we have. Security code not programmed. Ambient air. Incorrect environment. Identification security code incorrect. Okay. So in the steering column control module, we have wrong transponder key, no transponder key programmed, CAN bus no communication with ECM engine control module. So let's clear the DTCs. Clear DTCs two DTCs left wrong transponder key no transponder key programmed let's try programming this key let's just see what happens programming Transponder key. Ignition's on. Please get programming approval from TIS. Okay. So I plugged in the newer steering control module since um, GM TIS was fussing about, you know, couldn't read the VIN through the pass through, and it I did the vehicle uh, program configuration and it's actually going through and programming all of the modules. Low speed CAN bus configuration, so you want high, medium, low. Configurations are identical, that's good, but if it says mismatch, like mid speed CAN bus configuration, configurations are identical, confirm. Vehicle wide test completed, details. There's the VIN, there's the high speed, low speed, and mid speed configurations. Identifier, engine, ABS, TPMS, EHPS, IPC, SDM, CIM, underhood electrical center, rear electrical center, head unit. Okay, awesome. So it, it identified everything. Let's do module status. So present, present, present. These are all present. That looks good. Okay. Vehicle DTC information. Let's check that out. Turn the radio on. It's on, yes. Now it's going to go through everything. 
This is like a health check, which is actually really neat that GM provides that. It's going to go through each and every module on the network, medium, low, and high speed, and check for DTCs, read everything, and then once it's done doing that, it sees the DIS and the EHU sorting ECU list. So now view DTCs again we'll have security code not programmed security code not programmed wrong transponder key no transponder key no environment identifier security code not programmed and they got the airbag stuff loudspeaker hazard warning switch the DIS is fussing about that CD Change your malfunction, theft deterrent security code not programmed. And these are not present codes. So communication codes because we unplugged modules. Steering angle sensor circuit. Invalidated from ECM. Okay. Now, if you do clear DTCs, it's going to go through and clear all. Let's just try that. See what happens. Okay, restart test. Two DTCs. Zero. 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 Five DTCs in the instrument panel. Four DTCs in the airbag as expected. Two DTCs in the steering column module. Okay. Now let's go through. Now we have 11. Or let's see, view DTCs. So 19 codes left, <laughs> still quite a few. Security code not programmed, security code not programmed. Wrong transponder, no transponder. No environment identifier, security code not programmed. We don't care about those. DIS still has a invalid data and then the engine has okay so all those codes are still there and go to steering column control module Confirm diagnostic trouble codes. So wrong transponder key and no transponder key programmed. Can we now
go back and try to program a key. Programming transponder and remote keys and it's going to say we need no transponder key programmed. Okay. Erase transponder keys. Racing completed successfully. Please wait. Program transponder remote key. Okay. Please get programming approval from TIST. That's where I'm getting hung up. So let's try to fix that. Well, for the first time we're actually in. They read the VIN on SPS. What I had to do was install the J2534 wrapper. And you couldn't do that on Firefox. You have to go to Internet Explorer and you have to run it as an administrator. Again, Google it. Someone posted a helpful two minute video. Let's see what happens. So that security access finally got it to talk to the Tech 2. You just need to open it and leave it on the home screen instead of logging onto the vehicle. Enabled security access type 3. Okay, let's finish that. And now, again, thanks to YouTube for help. <laughs> Let's try programming a key. Again, body, CIM, ignition is on. It's been on for a day. Confirm. Programming transponder and remote key. Let's see what it says. Okay. Security code. Okay, this is new. 9401. I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. Okay. So no keys are programmed at the moment. Insert non-program transponder key. Okay, confirm. Confirm. Programming failed, so this might be a bad key. So I think we hit, hit another dead end here. We need a good key. Hope oh, maybe two good keys. Because the CIM, you can't finish the programming without having a valid transponder key. That's key. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to the customer and say, hey man, sorry, this key is just not going to work. But we got as far as we possibly could. We did everything right. And this is the, the roadblock right here. The key is not proper, not correct. Um, but otherwise, once you try to reprogram the CIM, it deletes everything and you can't finish the programming with a bad key and therefore you're going to get this message here, control unit not programmed when you do the full scan of the um, all the systems. So that's it for now. We'll see you when we get a new key.